Good morning. Welcome to the briefing. If you will, make sure you got your phones on silent or vibrate or something. And we'll go ahead and begin. If you will, hold on all side conversations around the back, please. We're going to begin with operations with a current situation. Good morning. I'm Mark Jamison, Operations Section Chief. Um, over here at Mills Canyon, still patrol status, keeping a good close eye on it. Here's the Kelly Duncan. Kelly is also, we're just keeping a big eye good eyes on it by air, making sure no smokes pop up on it. The Duncan, if you look at the new IR, uh, had a lot of growth yesterday down in here, but especially up in here on the north end. The crews are continuing to uh, prep this road and uh, up to uh, Shady Pass. Shawakam Creek, starting to heat up a little bit up here in the wilderness especially down in here and uh, and right here at the Zulu Zulu Alpha Alpha break. Um, crews continue, y'all continue to do very good work, starting to mop up along the road and up on top and keeping good controls on it. Thank you for your good hard work. Oh, sorry. I always forget branch five. <laughs> don't, don't leave. <coughs> Y'all doing, appreciate y'all work over here, structure prep and doing the uh, contingency lines. Good morning, everybody. Uh, upper level ridge remains in place across the uh, western U.S. As I mentioned yesterday, the center of that remains a bit to our east, so uh, not completely cloud free. There is a little disturbance that's going to work its way from Oregon up into Washington today, but it looks like the bulk of the moisture with that is going to stay south and east of us. So we may realize that in the form of some building cumulus this afternoon. We're going to continue to monitor that just in case it develops to anything more beyond that. And just kind of a hit reminder, we are there. If you guys need an update or seeing something that varies from the forecast, let us know through comms. We'll get an update out to you guys. Or if we see anything on radar and satellite, we'll send something back the other way. Otherwise, today, again, I mentioned to see those cumulus buildups in the afternoon, a few uh, passing mid and high level clouds as well. With a little bit of that cloud cover today, temperatures will be down one or two degrees today, but it's still going to remain hot. It's also going to be dry. Humidity's up one or two percent from yesterday. Winds will continue to remain light in general, 10 miles an hour or less. A prevailing west or northwesterly direction with the strongest speeds being those out canyon or out valley winds during the late afternoon and in through the end of the operational period and then when you guys hand it off to the night shift. Haynes today still looks like another five. Uh, we put up a pretty good column yesterday. You could see it on radar up to about 22,000 feet there briefly over on the Duncan fire. So that's the, the type of thing when we're talking about Haynes five, the potential would be there. Otherwise, as far as inversion goes, uh, we should see that lift again between 10 and 1100. Uh, pretty similar to what we've seen. Continued dry and hot into uh, tomorrow and into Friday with uh, relatively poor recoveries, particularly on the uh, thermal belt areas between three and 4,000 4, feet again tonight. We saw that last night. So some areas will be drier initially than others. So just keep a heads up out there with that in the Haynes 5. Here's fire behavior. Good morning, everybody. Gary Jarvis, fire behavior. Uh, yeah, um, there was a difference yesterday out there for sure than what we had been seeing. We definitely hit a Haines 5 yesterday. And where there was fuel available, uh, the Duncan exhibited the most is uh, 